Hello, and welcome to the first Getting Started with Our Network Management System Scenic NMS. Would you like to read in your existing network devices and perhaps depict them topologically? Would you like to find out more about your device states at first glance or see additional port statistics? In the next few minutes, we'll show you how easy it is to read the topology of your existing network with Scenic NMS. In this tutorial, I'd like to work out the following three steps with you. First of all, we'll deal with the basics you need to actually run a network scanner and how to create a topology from your existing network within just a few minutes. In the editing phase, I'll show you how to adjust your topology and, for example, insert user-defined backgrounds. At Views, I'll show you how to cluster a large network and bring it into separate user-specific, smaller forms of representation. These can be filtered by IP addresses or by plant sections. For topologies to work, we'll make adjustments at the following places. In the CNEC NMS control, that is in our higher level instance, we'll first adjust the parameter profiles with which we will, so to speak, fill our CNEC NMS operation afterwards. There, we'll also define the scan areas that our operation is to scan later on. In the CNEC NMS operation itself, we'll look at how you can create a user-defined depiction or how you can import a topology background graphic. In addition, we'll also see the clustering of the network devices at views. And from now on, we'll access Scenic NMS Live and go through the individual settings step by step. Prerequisite for this is, of course, that you have already decided on an installation type, selected a single node or multi-node installation, and can now also reach your control. As of now, we are on the Scenic NMS control and at System Administration, Operation Parameter Profiles, we can first of all take a look at whether our passwords match. In other words, for SNMP monitoring and SNMP configuration, whether the community strings are suitable or whether we have selected suitable passwords for our HTTPS access or SSH port. At Device Profiles, we can now check whether all devices in our network are already saved in the profiles in CNEC NMS. At the Detection Settings, we can now make the following settings. For example, we can specify that we want to include all devices that can be reached via DCP in the result or only those that we select in the scan area. At the Profinet parameters, we can decide whether we want to allow Profinet diagnostics in the first place. Exactly the same applies to Semantic Diagnostics. Now we switch to the menu item, CNEC NMS Operations. Here we have the option of creating our operations. We can tick these and, for example, use the Scan Areas button to edit them and, in this case, also expand and reduce them. So, should your network ever expand, you can easily insert that in a new IP address range and have it added directly to your operation menu. If you'd like to create a new one, please first use the tab on the left. There, you enter the parameters that you need for the network scan. Now we switch to our CNEC NMS operation. At Network Monitoring, Topology, we can now find the view of all devices in the network that were in our scan area. These can now be adjusted by switching to the edit mode. We can now mark all devices and move them to the desired location via drag and drop by means of the stars on our icons. We now know that it is an unreferenced topology. This means that if we now apply these states as references, our CNAC NMS will report immediately when something changes in these reference states. For example, if a link is down on our port or a new device is detected in the network. To make this view a little more detailed, you can also select a background, as you can already see in this example. You can then drag the devices directly to the locations as they are in your plant. By applying and saving the reference states, the topology is read in 
To the extent possible, you can now make adjustments in the edit mode. For example, which device details you want to see, or in which way the devices should be displayed. This device now depicts the fully read in topology of our sample plant, which was expanded by three additional scan areas. As soon as we move the mouse pointer over a device, we receive more information about the device itself. In our topology view, of course, we also get information about our connections. Do we have optical, electrical, or even wireless connections? A distinction is also made between active and blocked connections, for example, when it comes to redundancy mechanisms. By double-clicking on the device, we get all the information that this device can provide to us. For example, about the Wi-Fi configurations or the configured redundancy mechanisms. In the next step, I want to show you how to create user-defined views. This is especially worthwhile with larger networks. You can define a new one at view. You can assign a name to it and filter the devices, for example, based on the IP addresses, and then add them to this view. By saving, we have now applied the settings for this view. We can now see at views that our devices have already been added. The topology, however, has to be adjusted once again. To this end, we have to select our defined devices from our available ones. We can either select all of them together or individually by dragging and dropping them into the topology field, and then edit them in the same way we did before in our main view. And that, quickly you have customized your plant with a user-defined view. You have now learned how to work with topologies under CNEC NMS how to initiate an initial network scan, and how to edit the topology. We wish you a lot of success in configuring your topology under CNEC NMS and in getting to know your network better. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.